Hey guys, Kev with Jargist here, and today we'll be playing some more, or rather, we'll be playing some about this, <laughs> more Roblox, but we're not playing Roblox, we're playing Minecraft. Sorry guys. Uh, we are playing the Missing Ruby, or Gale's Missing Ruby, however you say his name, but yeah, we're just playing an adventure map. Uh, I have no idea what's on this map. Zero idea if anything interesting is on here, but there are the rules. No cheating. Use headphones. Play on adventure. Okay. You have been teleported. Okay, so Steve679 presents Gale Gaming and the Lost Ruby. I have no idea how to say his name, by the way. So, yeah. This is just me just playing the game. And I found a sword. Lovely. Uh, I can't enchant anything. I don't know why I have 11 levels, but I have 11 levels. Uh, chapter 1. No title for Chapter 1, I'm guessing. Just Chapter 1. So, let's begin. The next video is probably going to be like short or something. I have no idea. No idea. I cannot talk today. Uh, I can't go that one that way, apparently. Uh, let's see about going this way. Nothing. Uh, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. That's just nothing. Let's keep walking down the road. Shops. I must say stages, but shops. Uh, finally, the shop I want to see that gem. Okay. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, oh this is the wrong shop. The uh, Herobrine store. Cold food. <laughs> Knife. Knife. I'm guessing it's like raw meat or something. Herobrine. Where, where is my gem? I have no gem. Your gem is missing. What? How did the gem go missing? The shop was fine, and then I... Oh... Okay, so basically we have to find our missing gem that some random guy stole. Okay, so let's get going, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing this is the person we talked to. He's a police officer. So, sorry guys, I was taking a drink of my water. Uh, trying to be as quiet as possible. Just so you guys can like hear what's going on if there's like anything at all. Uh, I really need to play, like, different games, like, Subnautica or something. I really like Subnautica. It's an interesting game. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Workers in here to find a gem in this street, please. Well, Justin, we are almost done with the people who can go there. Okay. Hours later. I'm get. Who's this guy? This glitch brain or something? Error 845. 845, sorry. 
What is happening? Okay. Hello, police. Uh, hello? Wait, why are you looking at me like the ore destroyer? Also, I need that boy, Gale. Ore destroyer. No. Okay. Maybe you go check. I will go check error. Um. Uh, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Probably like an hour or something. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Uh, there is the diamond entity, I'm guessing. Yep, diamond entity. I'm a weirdo. The diamonds. Okay. That's no, dude. By any coincidence, I'm just the diamond entity. He's just the diamond entity. We're accusing him of freaking being. Whatever his name is, go start calling him Apple, because that's easier to remember. I have no idea what name they came up with, but that is not a name I read here again. Okay, I'm guessing this is meant to be a multiplayer map. Uh. I really need to start recording with more people. Probably like Winter Sky or something. Okay, this is the only door that had light in it. Let's keep looking, because that's parkour and I really don't want to do the parkour. I really don't want to do this parkour. Uh, freaking... I don't think anyone likes parkour in Minecraft. Because it freaking sucks. Especially like... Freaking fence parkour. Because that's near impossible. Because that's the wrong way. Okay. Let's get going here. I freaking walked off. Freaking missed the jump. Don't know how I missed a jump like that. But... Whatever. Freaking gonna keep on trying. So let's keep walking. Uh, I probably should set my spawn point or something. Also, um, I was playing Roblox the other day and someone like came on and asked if like they wanted to fuse, which I play like games like uh, Dragon Ball evolution and like stuff like that but they came on and asked if I wanted to fuse I told them no which is an okay response and they just started key blasting me and calling me rude for not saying no thanks which you kind of lost the right to the point at the moment you key blasted me like that's way worse than just saying no thank you and then he proceeds to like accuse me of like stealing his music which I don't really steal music A what he accused me of was complete bogus cause afterwards I told him what music did I steal and he started lifting off music that I never even heard of. I've never, like, 50 Cent and whatnot. Like, I don't listen to that music. I listen to stuff like Nightcore, Nickelback, um, and basically stuff you'd expect someone like me to listen to. But he goes and accuses me of that and I told him that I don't even listen to that music, I listen to Nightcore. Which is the appropriate response. 
And then he proceeds to call me a sore lo- He proceeds to call- say that I'm just upset because I'm a sore loser. And I told him I'm not upset. And how am I a loser? Like, what did I lose? And then he says I lost freaking, um, like, an argument. Like, no. A, I, after you key blast, after he key blasted me, I freaking key blasted him back, but my key blast was able to be stronger than hit him, than he could withstand, so it killed him. So it killed his avatar. And he freaking decided to just say, I'm the sore loser because I freaking lost an argument. Dude, you lost a altercation between fists, so I didn't really lose much other than time and you're being annoying. And I freaking tell him to go screw off and I get banned for like, until like Friday. Like, last Friday I got unbanned. And I never encountered him again. And I hope I never do, because if I do, I'm going to keep blast him a hundred times. Because the dude literally wouldn't leave me alone. I told him, I'm never going to fuse with you, because you are rude and freaking annoying. Because you're just sticking around here, key blasting me, while I'm trying to train. Like, I was just trying to train. Like, hey, I don't want to fuse, I want to train. Like, I believe that's fair. That's a fair thing to say. Like, if I want to train, that's my prerogative. So fusing is not my priority. He goes and says that I was rude for not saying please or thank you. Which, A, doesn't make me rude. Like, not saying please or thank you doesn't necessarily make you rude. It just means you're not using proper manners, which isn't necessarily rude. B, you kind of lost the right to me being polite a long time ago because you freaking key blasted me. Which I think is fair because A, you were rude to me by accusing me of stealing freaking being a sore loser and freaking lying and all this like random stuff that doesn't even make sense like A I didn't steal music from you cause A why would I steal music from you that makes no sense B I don't know you C I don't care Freaking, I could care less about what music you listen to. Because at the end of the day, you're just a human being freaking being rude. Like, your actions have shown that. And I'm not going to do anything to you. And I flat out told him to his face that I hope he dies in a hole. Because freaking, he deserves it for freaking key blasting me and being rude. And not to mention freaking defaming my character. Like, A, I didn't steal anything from you. And if I did, then you just lift off the entirely wrong music I stole. Because, A, I don't listen to 50 Cent at all. B, I don't even know what 50 Cent is. If it's some kind of rapper, I don't listen to rap. I really don't. So, right off the bat, you're lying about that. B, you're being rude to me. Because, A, you are key blasting me and trying to hurt me. Like, that's worse than freaking not saying please or thank you. That is inherently worse. Because, in freaking. Not only hurts people's feelings, or rather, it doesn't just hurt the victim's feelings, it could hurt someone else's feelings as well. I got hair in my mouth, sorry. Ah, 
I'm trying to get the hair out of my mouth. Uh, I got it. Freaking, I had hair in my mouth. Anyway, the guy literally just kept freaking being rude, and then I get banned for freaking saying, screw off. And go F yourself. And telling him to go F himself. I get banned for sexual language. Like, A. It wasn't sexual. Like, that does not mean sexual. <laughs> That's an insult, kid. That is an insult. So, right off the bat, I get banned for what I was saying because I was mad. Which, the issue wouldn't have been me. It would have been the person making me mad. Because as soon as they go away, I'm going to calm down. That is inherently what is wrong. Everyone in my life knows that, that A, if Betty gets mad, just take the person, make just take the thing away making him mad. Like, just do that. Because if it's making him mad, he's probably not going to want to see it for a while. Which is fair. That is fair. But if you just keep sticking around, it's just going to keep elevating my rage. Which, if you don't know anything about how my anger works... It freaking sucks for basically anyone who's victimized by it. Because A, my adrenaline kicks in. Which, if you don't know what adrenaline does in the human body, it basically activates the fight or flight response. Which basically means you either fight, which in that case you would get stronger from the adrenaline, or you, fl or you flee. In that case, you get faster from the adrenaline. But for me, it's both. Because I run, but I run towards the person. And I try to fight them. <laughs> so, right off the bat, you can't escape me. You can't beat me in a fight when I'm mad. And not to mention, when I'm mad, I'm pretty much like at that point where I'm a wild animal. So, you're pretty much, like, screwed from the get-go. So there's no point in fighting. Your best thing is to hide or freaking run. <laughs> Which, I'm just being, like, it's a fact. I have people still afraid of me. Because they got me mad. <laughs> to be fair, that's their own fault. I... And here's the thing, I always warn people that, hey, I have anger issues, you shouldn't get me mad. Which, if you inherently get me mad to cause me to get, for my anger issues to kick in, then right off the bat, you're digging your own grave at that point. <laughs> you made your bed, you might as well lie in it. But, again, that's, the per that's that person's fault not mine because I'm just the victim just getting mad which is an appropriate response to someone trying to make you mad which if you're trying if someone's trying to make you mad yeah right off the bat it's going to freaking not work because for people like me it's not necessarily the point of getting mad, it's the point that we don't want to hurt people. Like, people might, like me don't inherently like hurting people. But we will hurt people if we have to. As in, like, survival. Like, if it comes down to me or you in a survival situation where you're pretty much brandishing a weapon at me, yeah, I'm going to choose me. Because that's basically appropriate. Because you're brandishing a weapon. I'm here basically defenseless. I'm going to freaking try and survive. That's survival. That's what you're supposed to It's And if people freaking call me selfish for that, then screw you. Because that is not selfish. That is just survival. Anyway, I after that, I pretty much... Before I got banned, I pretty much called him a spoiled brat. Because he was. He was being entitled. He was being... And 
yeah, I probably should have said no thank you, but I wasn't feeling really too up to, like, formalities at the moment. Because, A, I'm on a video game. I don't have to be personal. I don't have to be formal with you. I honestly don't. He freaking just is being entitled at that point. Because, A, I don't have to be informal with you. I don't have to be polite to you. Because I don't know you and I'm probably never going to see you. If I'm polite to you, that's great. That's fine. But I necessarily don't have to be polite. I honestly don't. People don't have to be polite online because they're probably never going to see you in real life. You do, like, it's just freaking absurd to me that how many spoiled rich kids just are online and expect, like, everything. Because it makes no sense. It's just freaking is insane. And I mainly screw with people like that. Like, I mainly just troll them or something. Like, do something, like, pretty stupid to them and just laugh about it to their face. Because, A, you pretty much deserve it at that point. Like, if you wouldn't do something inherently dumb, I wouldn't necessarily freaking make fun of you for it. There'd be nothing to make fun of, so it wouldn't be the point. I'd probably just ignore you, which is most likely a good thing, because me ignoring you means I'm probably not going to care what you do or what you say to me. But if you inherently come up to me and start trying to aggravate me, yeah, you're going to get a response, but you're also going to more likely end up dead. Because, A, when I'm angry... It's never a good idea. You never want to be around me. Because my anger is freaking vicious as all. As all hell. Because it freaking does not stop until... Like, at that point, I will not stop until you are literally dead. Like, medically gone. Just out of sight. Or until someone calms me down. Which usually is me. At this point. Like, I pretty much calm myself down. By getting out of an area. Which I got... Which I believe in um, school I got in trouble for a lot. Because, A... I would get in trouble for leaving areas. But, oh, and... Zom droid is on. And there's a... Anyways, guys, this video is probably running a little long, so I'm probably going to end it soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below, and I'll see you guys next time.